Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 8. In the last episode, we went through Waterfall Cave, got here to the boss, and got our asses kicked. This time, we're a little bit more prepared. Uh, as you can see, I got ass load of herbs. I got all new armor for both characters. I got the main character using the boomerang, because um, it does a lot more damage than the sword you get. Also, I got my, both characters up to level 9. Yangus is using the giant mallet instead of the club. Um... I bought him a shield and I got a pair of boxer shorts from those dancing devils, which actually offers more protection than the armor you can buy in the store, which is funny. Um, not sure what all I had here. I, I think I'm pretty sure I had heal and squelch. Evac, I got evac. Basically, it lets you leave dungeons and stuff. Um, Yangus, I got whistle for bringing his humanity up to level 4, which basically means you can get into a battle whenever you want. It's very handy for training. Um, but as for skills down at the bottom, I haven't been doing anything with the hero except for boomerangs, and I'm going to stop that once I get up to uh, 18 boomerangs. That's when he learns power throw. And then Yangus, I got 20 fisticuffs and then 4 in humanity, so he can learn whistle. So, um, not much else to do. Boomerang plus 5, cross cutter throw, I'll get to that in a second. And Yangus has knuckle sandwich. And then all this nice fisticuff stuff. So, Without further ado, let's fight this boss. Maybe. There we go. You'll notice if you fight a boss and then come back and fight him again, there'll be different dialogue the second time you fight uh, fight every boss. He's like, he's like, ha, back again for more. Pretty much any boss, if you die and then come back to fight him again, they'll pretty much say the same thing like oh you're back to, you're back again I'm gonna beat you again and they'll just say that every time after that okay now how boomerangs work because I don't think I explained it is it hits every single enemy on screen and each successive enemy it does less damage so like if there was geyser and then like two uh, bunny corn things right next to him then it would do max damage to geyser a little bit less damage to the first one and then even more less damage to the second bunny corn but how crosscutter throw works is it hits all the enemies and then comes back and hits the first enemy again so when against bosses or one enemy it does decent damage um so i'm gonna have hero psych up so we can use that um unequip this giant mallet so i can use knuckle sandwich boom a lot better than the six damage i was doing last time so yeah i'm just gonna completely wreck this boss now Raise the curse mist, that's fine. Ooh. Also, um, I don't think I mentioned it, but Yangus can actually deflect the curse. It doesn't always hit him. Um, but I looked it up, the boss doesn't have 200 life. I, like, I thought he has like 170 or 180 or something like that. Yikes, that did some damage. Uh, heal him up. Because I really just cannot let him die. I'm gonna see if I can go up to 100, psych up to 100, make my character go Super Saiyan. Yes, a state of high tension. Now, psych up again, and I'm just gonna go for another knuckle sandwich. Boom! And, nope, didn't work. You can tell if it works because there'll be like a, kind of like a mini animation, a special animation that, that'll play. Alright, Yangus and Curse, let's try psyching up again. Damn, didn't work. I'll, I'll try it one more time and then I'll give up. Sizz, man, didn't do too much damage. Use my last knuckle sandwich. Since Yangus doesn't have very much MP, he can't keep spamming that. Damn. Well, I tried. I'll show it off eventually, because it is pretty cool when your character goes Super Saiyan. So, crosscutter throw and have Yangus heal himself. Yeah, see, it didn't. The second hit didn't even have to hit him before I killed him. So with that second hit, I bet it would have done like another 40-ish damage. And he drops a seed of strength. Oh, I didn't even mention the seeds. They're seeds for. Ever since I got this, I've not been right quite. I'll explain the seeds after this cutscene. Because of you. What? what? You 
don't know what I'm talking about, then you... You're not the true owner of this crystal ball. No! The shame. The shame. So strong. Strong enough to withstand my fearsome might. You are no Tortune fella. Wait. Could you be... The waterfall rears many humors, you know? It rears many humors. That a castle called Trodain has been cut, is set off on a journey. Leading a course and heart with a lone driver. And flashback. And there's us. And we just happened to not get hit by those I cursed thorns. That was you! I don't know what you want with this crystal ball. But it's yours now. I accept the hand. Or is it defeat? Defeat. All right, got the crystal ball. I think it'd be really cool if there was a costume where your um your char the main character it was what wearing that uh that guard outfit. The true owner of the crystal ball. Tell him this from me. Don't throw things in the four water. So. Where he fell. Oh, the pain, the pain, the pain of my own. Oh. All right, and we never see Geyser again. Now, heal up a bit. Use the last of these up. And now let's get the fudge out of here. Yeah, it'd be really cool if you can get a guard off because there is alternate uh, costumes. There's one alternate costume for the main character, which we're not gonna be able to get until we do post-game stuff anyway, because it's it's a special kind of armor. And then there's one other character. Once we get that character, um, I believe that character has like four or five <laughs> alternate costumes. Um, but here we got a seed of strength. There's seeds for pretty much every type of skill, like strength, agility, uh, wisdom, attack. There's seeds of everything um the the rarest ones and the best ones you'll find are seeds of skill which gives your character five skill points so i highly recommend giving every seed of skill you find to the hero um but seed of strength um uh, i don't know who i'm gonna give this to i'm just gonna yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna give it to the hero Oh, I didn't even use the chimera when you go back to Fairbury. Now we can go return the Bristol call to Calderasha and his daughter Valentina. And then after that, we can start progressing to the next. Uh, city of the game, which is gonna be awesome. Buy some new gear. And then after I'm done with this, I think I'm gonna show something involving the inn. I don't know if I'm not 100% sure if it'll work, but if so, I'll try it because it's a pretty cool little fun little cutscene that has something to do with later in the I game. Knew you would return before long. And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Calderasha's eyes see further than you realize. But you are meddling in matters that do not concern you. And you are wasting your time. 
You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. What? Don't throw things in the waterfall. It might open <laughs> up an old wound. What on earth are you talking about? Enough. Listen to me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. Even Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Give it to me! This time I will smash it into a million pieces, so it never finds its way back to me again! Someone's angry. Stop! Please stop, father. I know. I've known for ages. I know why you threw away your crystal ball. You... you know? So you know about your real parents? Yes. And I don't blame you for their death. Why not? How can you not blame me, Valentina? How can you not hate me? Because you were just fortune-telling. Just doing what you do best. I was too young to remember, but... You were once a truly great fortune-teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but to you, it was as clear as day. Oh. Back then, there was nothing I could not see. The great Kaldarasha was known all over the world. I was walking on air. Fortune-telling was my life. It was my soul. I thought only of myself. Be they good or bad, I cared not who asked me to use my crystal ball. I lived for the vision. It's all right, father. You're a good man. You took me in and raised me, didn't you? When I was just a helpless baby. I want to see it for myself. I want to see the great Kaldarasha in all his glory. I want to see your magnificent powers at work again, father. Oh, my sweet Valentina. All right. Now, after this black screen, that's probably going to take a long time. Let's see. Oh, sweet, we got to stay in his room. So, what I was always confused about... So, the way they just implied it is that Kaldarasha hasn't been a really good fortune teller for many, many years, since, like, Valentina was a baby. But then, um, when Kaldarasha was talking to the guy at the pub, the, the vibe I got from it was that it's been, like, lately that he threw things in the waterfall and geyser, I mean... I doubt he'd be holding a grudge for like what 15 years that's what it seems like um if they you go by the logic that Calderasha threw the gr crystal ball away when uh, Valentina was just a baby so like it doesn't it just doesn't add up to me like I don't really understand they they didn't do a clear job of explaining when he lost the crystal ball as far as I'm concerned so you are awake at last it is already past midday you must have been exhausted I must thank you and your friend. Look, I have put my crystal ball back where it belongs. Many years have passed since I gazed into the crystal like this. I have to thank you for returning it to me. What, what is this? Yes, yes, I see it, I see it. There is a jester, a jester breaking through the southern checkpoint. Yes, the mists are clearing. And the same jester murdered Master Rylos. Yes, yes. Well, now we know exactly how Rylos died. Clearing. He was murdered. <gasps> Can it be? Surely not. He has changed. But there can be no mistake. It has to be Master Rylos's former pupil. Dulmagos! 
Don't mind us. What? That wakes him up. Minor earthquake as he's running he down the stairs. Magus, right? That's our man. That's the evil magician. You and the old granddad are after, innit? So where'd he go after that? What else can you deduct? What else can you deduct? Yes. Let me look deeper. Well, what's this? Yes, no question. This is definitely my old crystal ball, but look here. It has been chipped. Huh. It must have hit something very hard to do this damage. <laughs> like Geyser's head. Someone has scratched some letters next to the chip. What? Half wit? Who's the half wit? What ignorant lowlife would do this to my crystal ball? You what? When I ask what else you could see, I didn't mean on the ball, I mean in the ball. Whatever. I'll come and gov. Okay. Now, is there anything else? I don't think there is. So, if I remember correctly... Okay, so if I remember correctly, you can always come talk to Calderasha. Like, I've never actually tried to do it, but I mean, it would kind of make sense that you could come talk to Calderasha, and he'll, like, explain where you're supposed to go next, because he's a fortune teller. Now, if you try to leave, he'll be like, hey, wait up. So, it's something to try if you ever get lost, and, like, your party members just don't give you enough information about what you're supposed to do. You might be able to go talk to Calderasha, and he'll tell you where to go, but, I mean, don't quote me on that. I've never actually tried it. It just seems like he'd be able to. Now, up to about 17 minutes before I cut off this episode, I want to try and do one thing at the end. If it doesn't work this time, then I know what I, I'll be able to get it to work in the next town, but I just want to see if it'll work now. Stay overnight. Oh, damn, it didn't work. But basically, every time you stay at the inn, well, not every time, obviously, you saw it just didn't work. Sometimes when you stay at the inn, um, like I got it earlier when I was training and I came back here to rest up, I saw the scene. It'll show uh, King Trodane, King Trode, whatever, in the back of uh, in the back of Princess Medea's cart working on something. And we'll find out what exactly what it is he was working on, for those of you who do not know. We'll find out exactly what it is uh, sometime soonish, probably by like video 10-ish, I imagine. Alright, but up to 18 minutes. I think it's pretty good for a video. That's, um, so that's the end of this video. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII, we'll follow Dalmagus through the southern checkpoint and head off to Alexandria. See you guys then.